Welcome to the start of a new weekly vlog guys. It is Saturday today and we're just about to cook some brunch. And I wanted to show you what we're cooking because it's pretty nostalgic for me. Okay, so we've got this savory and smoky bacon and onion potato saute. The reason it is nostalgic is because I used to have this all the time growing up. Not the waitress version, obviously, because that's just a bit fancy. But yeah, we used to have these all the time growing up, not just for breakfast, but for dinner as well. And I thought it'd be interesting to try it out. The one that I used to have had like egg mushed in with it. And this doesn't look quite like that, but... We're gonna do a Linda McCartney sausage on the side and a fried egg on top as well. This is uh, Maurice's girlfriend, the seal. We've named her Dua Lipa, but he loves her. Maurice, don't be nice, be nice. Be nice to her. Treat her right. Maurice, <laughs> play nice. Satisfy her needs. Don't just rip her neck off. <laughs> Here we go, looks very interesting. We've got some sriracha and some tea. Okay, outfit change. But today's exciting because it's the first time I've left the house in two weeks. <laughs> I'm so happy about it. Um, we're going to look at another two... Oops. We're going to look at another two properties today. So yeah, I can't, I can't wait. I'm just so excited to be out. We're also going to do a food shop i haven't vlogged much at all today we went to a few the two places and we also did a food shop in between so now we're home and unpack this house hunting is like there's so much to think about isn't there because it's not just a house it's location and you've got to be there for a while and yeah it's um like i don't know if i'm excited or just stressed again about it but i'm sure it'll work out fine we took one of these cooler bags with us to the shop so we could um keep all the cold stuff fresh because we had like an hour and a half between viewing so did our food shop in that i hope i hope all the meat's okay and that was the longest we've left the cat by himself in a while food shop is put away and we've just picked up our post um i for Black Friday, I didn't really want anything except I decided that I really wanted a pair of Doc Martens because I just think they're so cool and perfect like boots for winter. I like had a pair in mind that I really wanted and that I've wanted for a couple of months now. They're the Lenore Chelsea boot, but they've got a nice like fur, fur trim inside so you keep your feet nice and warm for winter. But um, they didn't go into the Black Friday sale but I did <laughs> get another pair. I got three different pairs from ASOS that were in the sale, but I don't know what ones I'm gonna keep and even if they're gonna suit me, but I'm really excited to like try these on, experiment with a couple of different outfits, and then I wanna send two pairs back and just keep one, but they're all quite similar. Here they all are, one of each pair. I know that this is the Serena boot. I think this is like the most similar to their original boots, but I really like it because it has the bit of fur on the inside. They feel so soft. And then I got the Jaden boots. And then I got the Jaden Max boots, which are exactly the same, but just the biggest platform heel. So they are going to give me a nice bit of height. So I'm going to try all these on. On first impressions, I really like that these ones have a zip, so they're easy to get on and off. And so do these. Um, but I also really love the fact that these are fur trimmed. Okay, these are the first pair. I really like them, although they're a tiny bit tight. I, th I just feel like I've got really wide feet. Because I'm so short, like I feel like these would come up to the ankle of a normal sized girl with normal sized legs, but I'm so short that they come up like quite far up my leg, but I really like them. And because of the fur inside, they are so soft and so comfortable so yeah these are great and a definite contender although i do think they are going to be a little bit painful to break in i wonder if i need to size up on them the second pair i will go for the normal Jaden boots they look like these i'm going to try them on i think the tights tomorrow because like i want to i want to be able to wear them all year round so i'd like to be able to wear them in the summer with little dresses as well these are going to be even more huge but they've got a zip which is good oh my god oh yeah these are so cool 
or wreaths, aren't these cool? Do you do? Do you normally do laces all the way up on Doc Martens? I don't know. They've got such a big cult following, haven't they? These boots, and I've never had a pair before. Oh, my cankles are too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's tight. My my cankles are huge. Do they do pairs for chunky cankles? That is the question. Oh, maybe it's the laces. Okay, maybe it's the laces that are making them too tight. How cool are these? Proper boots. <laughs> so fucking camera. Okay, these are the second pair. Again, I really like these. Whoa, they are huge. Oh my god, they're so cool. I love them. What do you think, Maurice? Lighting in the bedroom is slightly better. But these are the Jaden boots. I kind of like him. Okay, these are the Jaden Maxes, and I feel like a clown in these, but I'm gonna go <laughs> and see what G thinks because he's never seen me this tall before. Mm, yeah. You don't have the boots, but what do you think about my height? Oh, look, I'm up to your shoulder. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm up to your shoulder. Yeah, you're all up in my grill. I prefer when you're down here. <laughs> I like, I like being this tall. Wait, I need to um... I'd love to see Lydia on the top line. I need, to, I need to wear these ones on our wedding day so I don't have to... Under the wedding dress. Under the wedding dress, yeah. How cool would that be? What do you think, Maurice, of my shoes? What do you think? No, not bothered. God, they are huge. I wish I was cool enough to pull these off, but I don't think I am. Not just yet. For dinner we just had, oh that's not my phone, we had um, an oven pizza, our second one of the week <laughs> and we're having what G likes to call a supper now. Like I always thought supper was dinner but supper's not dinner. Not supper's, in Yorkshire. What is supper in Yorkshire? Supper is just a little, <laughs> it's a meal after dinner. What, two dinners? No, no, it's not dinner is it, it's just like a breakfast. <laughs> it's like a breakfast in the evening so you'd have toast. Like a brinner. Or, Cereal or full English or chocolate does that count no, as supper? It doesn't count as supper, it has to be savoury. <laughs> it's too many, it wrong. has to be breakfast in the okay. evening. Um, and we've got we've accidentally you got a supper. I do sometimes, not all the time, accidentally keep buying yogurt, and so we've got a whole fridge container of yogurt which looks ridiculous. We can definitely afford to give you two of these, but yeah, a whole full of yolks. What ones, what flavours are you having? Cherry and bloobs. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have, oh I quite like the apricot and I like the cherry as well. After all that I'm having oat milk <laughs> with my cereal and some bloobs. It's been a very quiet vlog today but I'm gonna vlog I think tomorrow as well so I'll see you then. Welcome to the start of a new week. Oh no wait, it's not a new week. <laughs> I'm an idiot. It is Monday and I have a super busy day today. I've got a couple of virtual events, which is exciting. I've got one in 45 minutes with Floral Street, which are one of my favourite perfume brands. Um, and I've got a virtual Q&A with the V&A later about the new Audrey Hepburn film, which sounds so cool. It's a new documentary out and it's all about her life and her search for love, I think. I watched the trailer, I'll leave a link to it down below. It just sounds really interesting and I don't know too much about Audrey Hepburn. I definitely like to learn some more about her. So yeah, alongside those two events, I have a hit workout plans this evening with my bestie and um, loads of videos to edit. I didn't realise I like been filming so many YouTube videos and content for you guys. So yeah, there's a lot coming up at the moment, which is exciting. So yeah, editing, but first I'm gonna tidy my office. I've got like a big box of Christmas presents here and a big pile of Christmas gift guide stuff there that I still need to photograph. In fact, I could probably do that today so I can move it all out of the way. I just want this to be a nice working environment for the week, getting off to a fresh start. I just wanted to show you one of the small business, oh. <laughs> small business um presents i bought some friends and family this year it's from a brand that i found on etsy called naughty naughty slabs 
and they make chocolate bars with naughty words on them and this is just like right up my family street so I'm gonna have to hide this word because it's too rude to show but yeah I got lollies and some chocolate bars with these on so I'm gonna be giving these to my mum dad and sister because that's the kind of humour we have um, and I also got myself a naughty advent calendar and they basically you can tick off each day to count down and they've got these really cute chocolates with swear words on and I thought that was a really funny thing to do for me and G this year 2020 socks yes it does I'm doing this scent event whilst this one next to me is going nuts at a bird outside <laughs> oh Maurice are you, are you angry? <laughs> what are you doing? such a fun little event i just love perfume so much like i love fragrance and i think my absolute dream if i wasn't to be doing this job and if i wasn't going to be a detective it would definitely be to put, be a perfumer because i just oh, i love fragrance so much i can't get enough of it um so that was really fun because it felt like you were like learning about all the notes which i really love they sent over this scent school box which you can buy you can buy this box and all the scent school stuff and you can join in on your own scent school virtual event which is what we did and basically you get these little pieces of paper and on each one it's got a scratch and sniff for each of like the main ingredients in each of these fragrances so you smell all of these learn about them and then you can spritz on the perfumes on onto these little cards or onto your skin and learn about their fragrance. Yeah, I love scratch and sniff. That was so fun. I was like loving life. And I really love all of these perfumes. Laurel Street has been, yeah, one of my favorite perfume brands for a really long time. They've only been around three years, but I must have discovered them around three years ago because that's how long they've I've kind of been wearing them. And my favorite fragrance is Wild Vanilla Orchid. In fact, I've got it. I can actually show you my favourite ones here. So, Wild Vanilla Orchid is one of my absolute fave floral street perfumes. Um, this used to be my first date perfume. So, every first date I'd go on, I would wear this. And the bottles are so beautiful. I also love Wonderland Peony. And I also love uh, London Poppy as well. And then from this event, I discovered that I really like Neon Rose. It's a really pretty floral, which I'm not a hugely massive fan of floral, but I really like this one. But it's got apples and spice in it, and it's really fun. And also they've got a new fragrance called Arizona Bloom, which is like, um, I think they said like, yeah, salted musk and pepper madagascan pepper and coconuts from bali and so it's a really powdery coconutty sweet a musky fragrance which on the skin smells really different so yeah i really enjoyed that also one of them two of them actually black lotus they recommended for men so i want to go and see if you will sniff this now this is a unisex one that's apparently really nice for men and women and there's another one that i want you to try tomorrow if that's okay this is black lotus when you put it on don't like go like that just let it air dry <laughs> can you smell it mm. do you like it it's nice can i smell it on you mm, it smells different on you <laughs> you're just gonna be walking around like that all day now mm. reminds me of something what's it remind you of yeah. Huh. Maurice, why do you follow me everywhere? You were asleep. You were asleep and now you look really tired. <laughs> what are you doing? I was coming back. Aww. Oh, little boy. I just sprayed Lang Lang Espresso on G and he prefers that one. His reaction was, whoa. <laughs>
um it's got coffee and tiramisu notes in it so it's yeah it's a nice one i think the other one he was a massive fan of because it is a bit feminine it's definitely a lot more floral i am trying to photograph another gift guide <laughs> but this cat i think is obsessed with little baubles don't touch them <laughs> don't touch them maurice maurice <laughs> no <laughs> I have had quite a productive afternoon. I ended up photographing my last Christmas gift guide, I think. So now I can um, get rid of all of this. I published one of my blog posts and um, joined in on this panel talk for the Audrey Hepburn documentary, which I cannot wait to watch. I'm going to hopefully watch that this week or at the weekend. But they really kindly sent a nice Audrey Hepburn inspired package which included this breakfast at Tiffany's cushion. This is the film, Audrey More Than An Icon, um, available for digital download and out on DVD now. And they sent some face masks and a little eye patch, a gorgeous food hamper, which had some red wine and cheese and pate in which I'm gonna enjoy as well this week. I can just show you that. And a little nighty. I don't know why I'm putting my slippers on because I'm getting ready for a workout now. Yeah, this really gorgeous silk top which says Audrey on it and it's from a company called, I think, Leah Sleep. I found this in the middle of the bedroom today and I was like, how did that get there? Turns out Maurice has bitten it to shreds and pulled it out into the middle of the room. Can you see all that? You see all those little bite marks in my lay low vibrator? <laughs> I, I've actually never used this as a sex toy. We've been using it as a back massager because it's hefty. Look at that. Woo! Getting in the back cracks. You're like, what is this? Yeah, you remember this? Can't believe you ate my vibrator. Maurice's new favourite thing is uh, catching Mario. Oh, it's hard to play when you're, um, when you've got a cat blocking. <laughs> Ready? 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 Okay. our dinner we have a uh, cod wrapped in no yeah cod wrapped in pancetta some jasmine rice and some spinach with capers so we've been really into hot chocolate recently i have the options belgian chocolate hot chocolate because it's 40 calories per hot choc g has the cadbury's good shit this one is very nice actually. I don't think I'd had this one before, but it is very nice. Um, and this evening, we've poured some Frangelico in there because I spotted it on our um, cocktail cupboard and I haven't tried this in ages. It's hazelnut, hazelnut li liqueur and hazelnut is like one of my favorite ingredients ever. So yeah. Well, that is a bloody good hot chocolate. It says that you can, um, Best served over ice with a squeeze of lime. I've never drunk it neat before, this Frangelico. I need to try it. But I've only ever had it in... I think I've only ever had it in hot chocolate. Hmm. 